Hello, everyone. Sam is here from creativetradingsystem.com, uh, making this a small video about uh, Bitcoin. So let's get it started. Um, uh, earlier on the on the Telegram, I posted here, you can see here today, July 9th, uh, in the morning, 10 a.m., that watch BTC for long, right? So BTC means Bitcoin. Uh, so that's today. Um, uh, not today. I mean today. It started already. But on the ninth, the uh, mor ninth, uh, the morning of the ninth, right? And after that, um, let me show you first a few things. Then uh, you can understand what the heck happened, right? I'm talking about uh, some harmonic pattern. But uh, let me show you first that um, the chart that I made for Bitcoin, a weekly chart, was this on the fifth last Friday. That we're gonna bounce and uh, from here, and since then. We are bouncing, right? And the daily chart also I made uh, today earlier, today on the 9th, after finishing this is wave 3, A, B, C, wave 4, and I says we're going to be bouncing from here as long as we stay above 56, 552, right? So we're supposed to be going to the upside, no big deal, right? It was already determined that yes, we are going to go to the upside, uh, definitely, not definitely, but yeah, uh, most likely, right? Uh, but um, how are we going to make the entry in the market? That's the question. So there are different techniques, right? Harmonic patterns, Elliott wave, support resistance, SNR level, and the near trend line, all of that. So let me show you this uh, bad pattern. This is how it is, right? Uh, main move XA, then you have 50% maximum. It can go from 38 to 50% 50, 50 uh, point B. Then C, and then you start to go up. So when, if you have X, A, B, and C in place, you and then you start to go to the upside, you know exactly that where the heck is going, right? Most likely. It may not. You know, it may go up here and then drop. But it may go all the way here. You know, that's how these bad patterns come to exist. So after the first trade is this. The second trade is the break of this area, point B. As soon as it breaks, the price breaks, and then from here to here, you can trade. And then if it start dropping, then you can go short as well, right? So there are three trades in one stupid pattern. Now, I saw this in the uh, Bitcoin, and I took the break of this on the 40-minute chart. I, I did it because I wanted to show, because usually my entries are from 20-minute charts or 7-minute charts, but I just wanted to show that uh, this is what is a uh, bad pattern and especially a new study that I'm uh, making videos on. It's like if these patterns failed, then what to do? For example, let me go on my website and I'll show you that these are, uh, see this is when a bearish gut left failed to play out. Right? So you have this, this is my, by the way, let me show it to you from the beginning. This is uh, the harmonic pattern course on my website right here. Right? And um, it is, uh, it, so far, it, it is like, um, it has uh, 15 uh, videos. I think maybe, you know, maybe eight to 10 more videos coming in, right, one by one. And um, whatever I find a good uh, thing that I, I post, right? So here, the regular things, right, you know, what is the Gertle pattern, bearish, bullish, what is the butterfly and all that crap pattern, this and that. But here you can see that um, uh, I started making the, these, that what if, Bearish Gertle failed to play out. What is bearish uh, butterfly failed to play out, right? And what if bearish bat failed to play out? Then comes bullish and all that. So bearish bat, if it fails and then continue to go to the upside, then what? So what happened here? Let's go to, uh, take a look at this trade that I took. You see this 40-minute chart? X, A, B at 50%. C came down to 23%. Exactly like the, uh, the the diagram here, right? 50, 23, and then it goes to 88. So what happened here? It went to 88. And when it was breaking this area and gave me a beautiful uh, long setup, and I took it from here to here, from 56, 59. Oh, sorry, uh, 56, 595 to 56, 5, sorry, 57, 570, right? And then I close the trade because the target is reached, 88. Now the question is, I wrote down here, look at that. Because the thing is that I already knew that this is supposed to go to the upside. Even if it's a bearish pattern, it's not going to play out because bearish means it's going to drop. 
But my daily chart is saying that, no, 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 we need to go to the upside. So that means that very good chance of this thing to become a failed bad pattern. Bad, bearish bad is in place, right? It's supposed to drop a little bit, but very, very good chance that it may drop a little bit and then continue to go to the upside because my weekly chart and my daily charts are all bullish and they are pointing towards the upside. So I wrote down here just for, you know, like I said, that I'm, I was trading these, taking these trades and also making these videos, uh, uh, this video and that I'm, I mean, saving these charts uh, just to make this video to explain that what is fail goodly and fail bad and fail, you know, all those fail thingies, right? because I get a lot of questions in my email. So I decided to make the video because it's not, this information is not out there, right? So uh, people know that, yeah, once the pattern is there, you play, uh, you trade that, but what if it fails, right? Then they're scratching their head, uh, not know what to do. But you see that I trade from when it is not even finished, any pattern. If it is 61 and then 23, now I know that it's going to 78, so I'll start trading long. If this is 75 and this is 38, now I know that it is going for a, but, a butterfly pattern for 127. Big move, right? So I'll trade accordingly, but I'll keep in mind that what if it fails? What if it failed? What if it failed? Is there, is there any reason for, to be a, a failed gut level, failed bad? So in this case, my weekly or my daily chart was telling me that, yes, there is a strong reason that it will fail. So it was failed. It dropped a little bit and then gave me a couple of more entries on the long side. So this is one of them from the other account, from the other computer, right? And you can see that this was the first one, right? This one, and I closed there, and then it dipped again. Then this is the entry again, taking, and it is uh, just closed a little while, right? This one. But notice that we had another entry here, right? So the first one I close on the other computers, I open the, this entry as well to the upside, which is right there. So this is the first one. This is the entry. Uh, this was the entry as well. You can see here, right? But my SL hit at break even. Then this entry, SL hit at break even, and then this entry. This is what happened in this account. All this one, two, three, four entries. These two entries hit at break even. This one went to this distance, and this one went to the distance, right? And in, in the other uh, uh, account, I had this one, but I didn't move my SL uh, too quickly, so it survived, and I end up here uh, uh, anyway, this one. You see that? This is open manually, by the way. Well, EA didn't open, right? Once I knew that this is what's happening, so we opened that. So what happened is here, like X, A, B, C, D is supposed to be coming down as a bad pattern. Now, let me show you the diagram of the bad pattern now that this is what happened. This is a regular bad pattern, right? It's supposed to drop all the way. But if it is going to be failed, it's going to be like this. It will drop a little bit and then give you the entries here and then goes to the upside. Now, this thing can go to the upside, as I said here, for 127. We will see. Well, we don't have to be greedy too, right? <laughs> so, a little by little, slow by, you know, so, uh, slowly. But obviously, my daily chart is showing that this thing can go all the way here you know, without any problem. So, it might, it might, right? It may go there. Oh, sorry. I mean, uh, this is gold. What am I saying? Uh, where the heck it go? Oh, here. You see this one, right? They're both same actually. Gold is also going to the upside. By the way, I, I posted the gold thing. You see, gold may go, uh, may going up again, maybe going up, and it is going. And I have a trade open uh, alongside on gold as well, based on all this mumbo jumbo, right? So this is how it is. Uh, we had this um, Bitcoin, you know, a long way to go. If I'm right, it's gonna go, right? But and 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 also this one forty minute chart, where the heck is it is now? It is at. Um, Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna have to uh, look. Hold on. What level? What the heck? Okay, I don't even have the level done. So I'll I'll do it later on. But let me sh no. I'll uh, uh, Bitcoin daily. Let me see on here. 
Ah, forget it. So uh, oh, it uh, probably going to go to 127 or 161 uh, extension level on, on that 40 minute chart, right? Uh, let me see if I can. No. Uh, so yeah, we have a long way to go to the website. And uh, this is it. This is just wanted to show you guys that look, bad pattern before it was completing, completed. I start to trade here, and then from here to here, I traded to make it a uh, complete bad pattern, right? Now it is completed here at 88%. Then if it would have dropped and then go down, I would have got shot, but it did. I was expecting that it will be a failed bad, and it did. And it came down here, a couple of entries here, long, and then boom, all the way to the upside. That's how easy it is uh, to, uh, once, you, once you learn, it's not that easy. Without learning, nothing easy, right? So this this course here, and this is right there, bearish bad, what happened then? We're bullish, got there, fail, then bad, and then I'm going to make some more, a lot, a lot more videos, a lot, a, lot, a lot of information here that I have that I want to share with everybody, right? So if you learn these things, yes, uh, you can really uh, rule the market because um, where the heck is going to go? If it is going to play out, you, you take the trade. If it is fail, uh, go the wrong way, you can still make the money, right? So take these courses. Yeah, you know, you know, I have a, I don't know if I have sale going on right now or not, it's gone. Yeah, yes, it's still there. So take advantage of that, and it's, it's nothing. It's a piece of cake. It's just one trade. It will cover the cost, right? And uh, it, it is, you know, for you learn something, you know, like this, and it is just, you know, for lifetime. And you can use this, this uh, harmonic patterns, Elliott wave, all these, you know, uh, positive or failed uh, waves or failed patterns, uh, you know, anything. Uh, uh, anywhere in the market, you know, to trade gold, silver, commodity, oil, uh, you know, other stocks in the stock markets, you know, whatever you can open the chart in MT4, right? Forex, everything, oil, right? So uh, the same thing happened everywhere. So this is, uh, just wanted to share with, uh, with you guys. And uh, this is it for now. And uh, let's see if I have uh, still one more trade open on this uh, Bitcoin. And uh, gold is open right now for long. And uh, next video, I will, uh, you know, show you how uh, I was, Expecting gold. Uh, you saw the chart, right? Uh, I was expecting gold chart here. This is the chart, uh, the last chart I made. Where the heck is the gold, right? And slowly but surely, it came down a little bit, and now it's going to the upside. And I already have the energy. So let's see what happens. All right, so bye for now. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, right? Uh, so that you can get my videos on time. And now you get the idea that gold is going to the upside and Coin is on the rise, so you know you can take advantage of these uh, setups, right? All right, so talk to you guys later.